Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Ruler Tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, Ruler Tool in Adobe Photoshop is used to measure distance, angles and position coordinates in an image. With this tool, you can draw a straight line and measure the distance between two points in an image. So friends, the Ruler Tool is located in a toolbar under the Eyedropper tool like here okay by using a shortcut i you can activate these tools and now you can select a ruler tool now if you want to change from the eyedropper tool to ruler tool then you need to press shift plus i to switch from one tool to another so right now i am just selecting this ruler tool so friends let's see the practical example how you can use this ruler tool and all the properties you can see over here fine so first of all i am opening this footage okay so to use the ruler tool first of all we need to select the tool and we need to use click from the one point and you no need to drop down your mouse click and you need to go to the second point for example here and once you release your mouse pointer you can see all the properties over here you can see your x-axis your y-axis your width w means width, the width of this ruler as well as you can also see height because we didn't make a straight ruler that's why we also get the height and that's why we also get an angle now to create a straight line for that we need to press a shift now if you want to clear this ruler you need to press over here which is called clear just press clear and the ruler will be clear okay so now see one more example i am just measuring from here to here but a straight line for that i am just pressing shift while i am dragging from here to here okay so friends as you can see now our x-axis will be this y-axis will be this and width is 919.07 but there is no height because we have a straight line that's why height will be zero and angle is also will be the zero now what is this l1 l1 with one ruler right now we just created a one ruler that's why the l1 will be this now if you want to create another ruler then you can see the value over here so this is for the measuring particular area now friends i showing you how you can calculate height i'm just clear this and now I am just calculate height for that I am just selecting this door from here to here by pressing shift you can just make it a proper straight line so guys as you can see I can got my height will be 441 now guys as you can see we are going from the top to down that's why our height in positive value now if we are going to down to top and as you can see our height will be in minus same in our horizontal line if we are going to right to left then our fifth value will be in minus now next we are going to learn how we can calculate angle okay so where this is very important so first of all I am clearing this now to calculate angle first of all we need to create a one ruler like this okay and once you release your mouse pointer your one ruler is created now if you want to start from here to here to measurement this angle for that you need to press alt from your keyboard and once you press alt from your keyboard and you move your mouse pointer to this point and as you can see the icon will be changed to the angle icon this is for measuring the angle just click here and from here to here you can get another ruler so friends as I told you before this is L1 for first ruler and L2 for the second ruler and as we can see the angle will be 89.2 degree so this our angle will be 89.2 degree so friends using a ruler tool you can measure with height position angle as well as a lot of things in Adobe Photoshop so friends like this we can also find any angle in a real time footage 
so for now I am just clear this okay now friends sometimes you have some tilted layer for example this in this footage our iPhone will be all tilted now if I want to make a straight layer for that we have here one option straighten layer so for that first of all we are using our ruler tool and then we are just making one ruler from here to here fine and now we are going to press straighten layer so friends as you can see our layer will be the straighten see so like this you can also straighten any layer in Adobe Photoshop so this is a very useful option in a ruler tool so this is a straighten the active layer to make the ruler level so friends like this you can use a different different example or you can also use a real-time footage for a architect work to find a width height as well as angles in Adobe Photoshop now here you need to note one thing is that the ruler tool is useful when you need to measure distance or angle in an image or when you need to draw a straight line with a specific angle so guys that's all about ruler tool thank you so much see you in the next video